This video is about Amazon CloudFront. Amazon CloudFront is AWS's content delivery network. It is also called CDN. Amazon CloudFront improves the read performance by caching contents at edge locations. The edge location is the data center that is nearest your users. Edge locations provide reliable, low latency and high throughput network connectivity. As you can notice in the screenshot, the content from the S3 bucket that is in Australia AWS region is viewed by users in North America and Asia through edge locations using CloudFront distribution. CloudFront edge locations are connected to the AWS regions through the AWS network backbone, which is a fully redundant network with tens of thousands of networks with 100 gigabit bandwidth. This helps improve origin fetches and dynamic content acceleration. There are 400 plus edge locations. Requests are automatically routed to the nearest edge location. Edge locations are not tied to availability zones or regions. You can notice in the screenshot that in addition to edge locations displayed in blue color, there are also regional caches displayed in orange color. Regional edge caches are CloudFront locations that are deployed globally, close to your viewers. Let's see how you configure CloudFront to deliver your content. First, you specify the origin servers. For example, CloudFront gets your content from an Amazon S3 bucket or your own HTTP server. These contents then will then be distributed from CloudFront edge locations all over the world. Next, you create a CloudFront distribution, which tells CloudFront which origin servers to get your files from when users request content through your website or application. Next, CloudFront assigns a domain name to your new distribution. You can also add an alternate domain name to use instead. CloudFront sends your distribution's configuration, but not your contents, to all its edge locations where CloudFront catches copies of your files. By default, each file stays in an edge location for 24 hours before it expires. The minimum expiration time is zero seconds. There isn't a maximum expiration time. We talk about how CloudFront is AWS CDN, and it uses AWS edge locations to cache the content to improve the read performance. Now let's see about the CloudFront origins. We mentioned the origin on the previous slide. An origin is a location where content is stored and from which CloudFront gets content to serve viewers. When you create a distribution, you specify the origin where CloudFront sends requests for the files. You can use several different kinds of origins with CloudFront. For example, you can use an Amazon S3 bucket, an application load balancer, or an AWS Lambda function. S3 bucket is a very common origin source for CloudFront distributions. For example, organizations can improve the read performance of their static contents, such as images and videos, stored in S3 for global customers. There is a concept of origin access identity, OAI, through which CloudFront provides enhanced security for the contents. The origin access identity is a virtual user identity that will be used to give your CloudFront distribution permission to fetch a private object from your origin server, for example, contents in an S3 bucket. Let's see how CloudFront provides security to your content. It provides DDoS protection to your content as you can integrate CloudFront distribution with AWS Shield. You can also integrate with web application firewall WAF to provide security at the application layer by analyzing each HTTP or HTTPS request at the application layer. It can expose HTTPS externally and can be integrated into internal HTTPS backends. Let's look into AWS CloudFront use cases. CloudFront can speed up the delivery of your static content, for example, images, style sheets, JavaScript, and so on, to viewers across the globe. You can use CloudFront to serve video on demand or live streaming video. You can encrypt specific fields throughout system processing. For example, in addition to HTTPS security, you can add field level encryption to protect specific data. Running serverless code at the edge provides reduced latency and helps you customize the content. For example, you can return a custom error message when your origin server is down for maintenance. That way your viewers don't get a generic HTTP error message. Now let's look into AWS CloudFront pricing. CloudFront charges for data transfer out from its edge locations along with HTTP or HTTPS requests. Pricing varies by usage type, geographical region, and feature selection. Amazon CloudFront is also available in free tier. In the free tier, you get 1 TB of data transfer out per month, 10 million HTTP or HTTPS requests, 2 million CloudFront function invocations, free SSL certificates, and no limitations. All features of CloudFront are available in the free tier.